my talk today was all about going a bit beyond just looking at data superficially and trying to uncover the patterns of why people are behaving in the way that they do um, and how that can really be used for a, a force for social good. There's all sorts of data floating around about who we are, about what we're doing, about how we're behaving. And I think that we're in a perfect point in history where you can responsibly use that to just make improvements to all kinds of, of societal systems, things like um, the police force, like healthcare, like transport, all of those things which have been sort of, you know, wandering around blinded to the data in the past can now be made a bit more efficient and, and just improved ever so slightly by, by thinking of things through data and mathematics. I sort of think that uh, data and maths is like a logical eye, if you like, a, a rational eye. I think often when you're embedded in a project, it can be quite hard to be um, objective uh, about it. Inevitably, you're, you're, you're going to have certain... I mean, we're only human, right? So you're going to have certain feelings towards a, a particular aspects of the project. And I think what data and mathematics allow you to do is to take a step back and just see things through a perfectly rational lens. And oftentimes, that's not the only lens that you want to consider. You also want to consider the more human angle. But I do think that sometimes just having that, that rational guide um, can be helpful with everything. In terms of future proofing, as time goes on, we're just going to see more mathematics, more data, more artificial intelligence, more machine learning being embedded in every possible aspect of you know, life and work. Really. Um, and I think it's about embracing it, embracing it early, getting ahead of the curve, and making sure that you're really doing things in the best and most efficient way that you possibly can.